Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with lists. We display all the movies here as a list with help of a map method. And let's uh, remove this input right now. We don't need any more this one. And as you can see, we have a movies here with hard-coded data and I'm going to change this in this video. I'm going to use the API. So I find this API for movies and I'm going to get the movies from this API and assign them to movies here. So let's remove also them. And if I save, go to the browser and we don't have any movie right now. If you go to the, how we can get now uh, movies from here and add here and display. So get the movies from the API, assign the movies to this state and display the movies here. That's it. What I said in the previous videos, when uh, the thing to learn in the, the core thing to learn in the React is rendering and re-rendering. Because now we are going to get movies from the API, assign them to this state, and when we assign the when we change the state, we know the React is going to re-render this component. And if you go to the React JS.org documentation. Here we have the lifecycle methods, and we are going to use this component did mount. Okay, this component did mount method runs after the component output has been rendered to the DOM. So uh, when the component, this app component, is rendered to the DOM, this component did mount is going to be called. And we are going to use this one to get the API and assign the movies from the API to this state. So let's say here component did mount, and you can see here we have did catch, did mount, did update, and will unmount. But let's use this one. And I'm going to say here console.log console.log the I'm going to say component did mount and let's copy this and paste in the render and this is going to be the render method now if I save and go to the browser let's inspect the elements go to the console we can see we have the first is called the render so we render this component and when we after we render the component is called this component did mount. Okay. So first is rendering after this rendering this component did call. But here we have twice and this is called twice because of uh, so if I open the index.js because this react strict mode here. So if I change this strict mode the uh, div for example and if i save you can see we have only one call and let's now how we can get the fetch the data from here and assign to the state let's use the fetch method so fetch and uh, i'm going to say the copy this one and paste it here now this fetch is going to be a promise so i'm going to say so maybe have movies may not have i'm going to say then and then the response of that let's say console.log let's use again the console dot log and say the response and save this one go to the browser refresh 
and we have the first render and the response. Now I'm going to say response get the JSON data. So JSON get us the JSON, and if I save and refresh, you can see now we have a promise. What I said. And here we have now the promise results is going to be an array with five movies. And I'm going to say here, so after the JSON, I'm going to say again, then and here I'm going to say movies i'm going to call this movies you can name what you want so for example let's say api movies api movies or what you want and i'm going to call now this set state because we need to update the movies and we need don't say here this state movies and assign but we need to say this set state what we learned in the previous videos so this dot set state and here i'm going to add a callback function which is going to return not render return an object with movies and I'm going to assign with API movies. Okay. Now, if I save that and go back, refresh, we have an error. And why we have error movies, return this movies with our movies, API movie and this state movies okay we run this console log here so we need to remove that sorry for that and save it and now you can see we have this uh, my favorite movie is and nothing because we don't have a name here so we display the name but in this API, we don't have a name, we have a title, and also the year is with a capital. So let's say capital title here, and also the year is going to be with capital Y. And if I save, go to the browser, refresh, we have the movies here, and uh, we need to add the key. We don't have ID in this API, so I'm going to add the title be unique so let's say title save go to the browser and refresh and now we don't have that uh, error and you can see we have render two times the first one is when we render it for the first time and then it's going to re-render because we call this fetch in the component did mount and set the state. When we update the state, it's going to re-render this uh, component. Okay, friends, that, that's it about this video. I hope you understand. So, we render for the first time that app component and we call this component did mount the code inside here is going to set the state. So it's going to update the state. And when we update in the state, we re-rendering the component. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next one.